Hello, let's continue our Sudoku adventure with Pointing Digits Sudoku by Clover. So we have normal 6x6 Sudoku rules, that means in every row, every column, and every 2x3 box, we are placing the digits 1 to 6 exactly once each. We also have these arrows in the grid, um, they are pointing digits arrows. So if a digit appears in a cell with an arrow, like let's say a 3, then, that, then call that digit x. So in this case, I'll just use 3 in place of x. That means three must appear again exactly three steps away from the arrow cell in the direction the arrow is pointing. So we count one, two, three, and this must also be a three. And that's it. Those are the rules. Uh, there's a link in the description if you'd like to try the puzzle yourself. And I'm going to get started right now. So as with a lot of these, I think starting with the arrows that are pointing close to a wall is useful because like this can only go one or two steps away. So this is a one or a two. Uh, this can go up to three steps away, as can this one. Um, this can go three steps away. This can go five steps away. I'm pretty sure six can't go on any arrows, because you just can't go diagonally six. Yeah, so this is one through five. This is one through four. This is one through four. Okay, so now here's the thing. This can't actually be a one, right? Because if this was a one, that means there's a one one step away, <laughs> and that's in the same box. So this is a two, and it puts a two here, and that does restrict all of these. Um, these could easily just be ones pointing at each other, which would be pretty fun. Um, otherwise, they'd be two threes in the corner, which would also be fun. So I don't know what's more fun, two threes in the corner or two ones pointing at each other, but it's kind of like the Spider-Man meme. Um, all right, there's a two down here. This is one through five. Is there anything I can do with sixes? I don't really see like enough arrows in the grid to restrict that. Okay, so if this was a three, we'd have a three here. So is there a problem with a three here or a four here? Or, okay, well, okay, so this can't be a two anymore because if it was a two, we'd put another two right there. So that's not a two. Um, this is a one three pair. Ooh, let's think about what that means. If this was the one, there'd be a one here. If this was the one, there'd be a one here. So there's a one in one of these two. If this was a three, there'd be a three here. If this was a three, oh, right, this can't be a three because there's a two sitting there. Sorry about that. So that's a one, that's a one. And we do end up with two threes in the corner, which is great. We can deet, deet, doot, and deet, deet, doot again. All right, so that's not a one or a three. That's not a three. So I, this three is sitting in the two spot. So this has to be a four, which puts a four all the way up here. That's a one and a one. Um. What else do we have to think about? Probably Sudoku. But let's look at this triple here. This is one, five, six. And we know six doesn't go in there, one doesn't go in there. So that's a five. That's six, that's one. Five puts another five there. Now we have pointing Spider-Mans here. So I'm happy. Um, so we have three, six here. This is six and three. Over here we have two, four, five. That's a two. That's four, five. These are from four, five, six. It cleans up, but doesn't resolve. This is four or six, but it's not a four. So that's six, that's four. That resolves this triple. Uh, this down here is a four. And then over here we have two and five. We know the order because of that five. Here we are going to need a six. Here we need two and three. Um, up here we need four and six. Those are resolved. This whole thing's resolved. Two, one, two, and five are left. That's five. That's uh, two. That's one. And we're done. Very cool. I'm glad we ended up with uh, the th the arrows forcing threes into both corners, and then also the Spider-Man fives looking at each other. That was neat. Um, cool idea. Um, I haven't solved this specific kind of arrow before, so that, that was fun. Uh, really nice introduction to that constraint. Thanks, Clover. Um, we're having a lot of fun with these different fat arrows, <laughs> as Clover called them. Um, they, are they are nice looking uh, diagonal arrows. And uh, of course, if you enjoyed this, why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.